Hi friends, I am Sai and welcome back to my channel Sai Tech or in today's video or to the aptic feedback review on the Poco F3 GT device. Yes friends, this is the most requested question on the Poco F3 GT. So right now the time is about 12:56 uh, and I'm using this phone for the past I think close to 12 hours of usage. Yes, exactly 12 hours I've been using this phone. And I'm getting plenty of request on the asking me to do, to make a video on this particular topic which is the aptic feedback. So how good is the aptic feedback in this phone? That is what I'm going to talk in this video friends. So first thing I'll try to divide the topic into two uh, categories. One is the aptic feedback while typing, one another thing is the aptic feedback you do get which is a 4D aptic feedbacks. So nowadays few of the manufacturer companies they are trying to introduce which is a 4D aptic feedbacks which is present in the Realme X1 Max and in the iQOO 7 as well. Let's see whether we can actually experience any of those kind of 4D aptic feedback backs in this Poco F3 GT or not so first thing is that friends in case if you want to know more details about this Poco F3 GT don't forget to check the playlist i'm trying to say again and again because not for the views friends just for the information only in case if you are planning to buy the phone you should know all these things before actually buying the device so you can find the aptic feedback uh, settings here in this sound and vibration as you can see so once you select the sound and vibration so right, try to scroll down. So when you try to scroll down, there's an option which is called the aptic feedback. As you can, and there's an option to increase and decrease the intensity. That's a very good advantage, friends, in this phone. So I did like uh, having this kind of functionality. So few of the phones, few of the other UIs, they'll just have one option: enable and disable. That's it. They don't give you this kind of control. I totally don't agree because it's up to the user to decide how much kind of vibration he likes. Some users they like the strong vibration. Some users they don't like the strong vibration. There is a problem with the iQOO 7 device. It's so strong that uh, some of the users they do feel irritation sometimes this iq 7's vibration is so strong yeah so much stronger i'll try to compare both phones in next video so make sure to stay tuned for that video so you do get this kind of option to increase and decrease the intensity as well so right now first let's demonstrate the keyboard typing test how how much you can actually get this kind of haptic feedbacks while you're typing so this is the only way you can actually experience when the haptic feedbacks whenever I try to type on the keyboard you will be able to feel the haptic feedbacks that is the reason I did keep the mic slightly on the phone. So I did not feel that much kind of strong kind of vibration it's kind of soft it's kind of a really soft cool vibration it's not a strong one. So which the gamers actually want the strong aptic feedbacks, which I did see in the IQ7 strong aptics. And I'll try to show you a couple of other applications as well. So by using this alarm clock also, you'll be able to get that kind of aptic feedback. Let me try to show you. Think little bit, little bit of sound you may be able to hear, but not much sound because this phone doesn't have that kind of high vibrations to make you hear the sound exactly. So this is another test which is called the fidget spinner haptic feedback test. By using this kind of fidget spinner as well, you'll be able to feel the vibrations. Yes. So this is one thing which I thought of showing you. I'm not sure whether you will be able to hear the voice or not because it's too too much low. So when I try to compare with other phones, you will be definitely able to understand how much uh, it's kind of low. Next thing is to test the 4D haptic vibrations. I mean 4D. So whenever you try to uh, type on the keyboard, so try to hold the phone from the top angle, top side, only the top side, leave the bottom one, try to type on the keyboard. You should be able to feel some kind of haptic feedbacks coming on the top side as well when you're trying to use the keyboard. So right now at this moment, I'm trying to feel the haptic feedbacks but it's not that strong no it's not strong at all so when i try to hold from the right side yes i can actually feel the very strong vibrations from this side from the bottom bottom side but not on the top side no so when it comes to the other phones like the iq sound device iq sound has got equal equal 4d vibrations yes both sides top and the bottom it has got equal vibrations i'll try to compare with those phones only then you will be able to see what's the difference is so you may think why how it's useful the 4d vibrations are really helpful when you're trying to play the games so some users they don't like some users they like it but if you like that will be really great another way to experience the haptic feedback in this phone is to turn on the game turbo mode you can just switch on the buttons and whenever the game space opens with the animation you will get this kind of vibration going on from the top to bottom so in this way you will get that kind of small kind of feeling only not it's, it's not that very strong just a little bit kind of feeling that's other way to experience the 4d vibration as well but at this moment i don't think uh, there's 
battle grounds mobile or pubg or call of duty will be able to take this advantage of having the 40 vibrations so the reason is because in the game space and everything in game turbo you won't see the option of having the 40 vibrations at all there is no option at all for the 40 vibrations you cannot even find that option the word at all in this miui but for example in the iq sound device there's a special category which is a 40 vibrations it's listed let me show you so is the 4D vibrations. In this way, you'll be able to see what games actually supports 4D vibrations. So basically friends, the Poco F3 GT doesn't have the 4D vibrations. That's the one conclusion which I can definitely give. I'll try to do the another side-by-side -side comparison with other smartphones very soon. So right now, this is a com complete conclusion friends about the haptic feedback. So haptic feedbacks are not great, but not uh, down. That's It's kind of medium. I would say kind of close to I think Poco X3 Pro kind of haptic feedbacks. Yes, little bit. But I'll try to do the side by side comparison then you will be able to understand. But in my experience I'll, out of 5 I would give 3 star rating because it's not strong and because it's not 4D as well. That is the reason I'm not giving that, that kind of stars but still it's got really good uh, soft kind of haptic feedback. That's uh, one thing you can definitely say in this uh, POCO F3 GT device. And the other advantage with this is that you can actually increase and decrease the intensity as I said. It's really great to have this kind of benefit as well. And one more thing is that whenever you try to uh, scroll around the menu something, so when you try to reach to the bottom, you'll get the haptic feedback. Little bit, very very little bit of haptic feedback. Just a small, not very strong but just a little. So for example, if you try to go to the display option and if you're end of the menu options here, you'll try to get that kind of small feeling, small. It's not that strong friends, but I'm just trying to uh, say you what are the different different scenarios. You can actually feel the haptic feedbacks in the POCO F3 G2 device. So I wish they could have included at least the 4D haptic feedbacks while you're trying to use the triggers. Yes, that's that will be a really great option to have this kind of uh, controller type of feeling when you're trying to use the triggers. But we don't get that kind of option in this, uh, unfortunately in this UI. They could have included this kind of 4D option somewhere on the notification panel. That is what I was thinking friends, but they did not include that kind of option. It would be really great to see this kind of features coming in this uh, phone. The hardware is really capable of having, but the software is kind of really limiting at this moment not having the 40 vibrations so this is the complete review friends about the poco f3 gt i think now it's the time for me to sleep this is a review after using the device for about close to 12 hours of time and thank you for all your support and feedback and now so definitely i'll be mainly focusing tomorrow and comparing with the oneplus not 2 so oneplus not 2 also i'm receiving very soon so i'll try to focus comparing both phones as well so meanwhile just follow me friends and make sure to comment below i'll try to do my best to post as many as videos as soon as possible See you in the next video, friends. I'll see you for more updates. Meanwhile, bye.